Hi, I'm Adrian Dorsum from Team United Gozos and I participated this weekend at the French Nationals in Villejou and I finished as uh, 17th place. I lost in top 32 but finished uh, in Swiss as first. So I went 13-1. Uh, yeah, 13-1. And I play Skate Strikers, and I'm going to represent my deck right now. And as monsters, I play Triple Ash Blossom as the one and only hand trap. Um, I have to say to play Ash Blossom because it's the best hand trap in the mirror match. It's overall fine, <coughs> especially in a national format because everything can be played. And yeah. <laughs> Then I play Triple Ray and Double Panko Drops with the same argument as uh, Vanishes because it's super generic, it holds everything you need to hold, it's good against all matchups, it's not bad against any matchup, so I like this card. For the spells, I'm playing as basic Triple Engage, Triple Multi Roll, Triple Wood Anchor. The only cards I play as a free ops from the Sky Striker cards. And uh, double area zero and double shark can. At some point, I was thinking about playing triple shark can, but I don't like cards which which doesn't have this usage as naturally. Like in case you draw it, like two of them, and uh, you can't really do it no another play. It, like you can't get it into the game. It's a, it's a bad card. So I just didn't want it to clock with this card or like with Area Zero or something like that. As one of Sky Strikers players, I played 100 drones, one jamming waves, and one afterburner. I really don't like this card because it's just a pop for a monster. You have Wither Anchor and so many other outs, like Ningyus or something like that. So you don't really need it, but it's good to pop a floodgate. So I, I played it, and it's pretty important against the pedal matchup, which is more or less unbeatable. And then I played uh, as three of spells in my deck, triple MST. Um, I'm thinking to play MST is the correct choice because playing twin twisters in this format is only good in the mirror match because you, re you remove two back rows and you discard one spell in most of the cases to have uh, three spells for engage. But for, for example, if you play against Salomon Great or Orcus, there, there is that, that judgment. And if you go two and three, you go on minus one, so you can play MST for the same reason. And the other spell I'm playing at three is Mystic Mine, because it's a go second deck. I really like this card, but the only disadvantage is you go very often into timeout. Yeah. And. And then I played double terraforming to to choose in between a mystic mine or area zero, whatever I prefer. Nice card. Also, it's one more spell in graveyard. Then I played uh, double desires. In the last sacrifice, I played uh, triple desires, and I was like, okay, sky strikers is a deck you can go like in the most games into a grind game. So there's a high chance to draw multiple ones, you don't want to. And of course, um, I wanted the space for the third Ash. Then I played twice goods with one Fusion and one Galaxy Cyclone. Uh, I've chosen to play Galaxy Cyclone just in case I banish the Fusion with my Power of Desires. And on top of that, it's it's just another bait for the judgment, like Crescendo or Raw, I think. So it's fine. And uh, sometimes you can out order, which didn't happen this weekend. And as the last one of spells, one of the Goblin, one reinforcement. Absol Goblin is the best card to side out in this game, mostly because you are game free nearly by time, so you don't want to draw it. Um, for the side deck, I played Triple Ghost Ogre for the Mirror Mage against Pendulum. Sometimes even against Salaman Great. Um, Triple Toon Twister because backward eggs and stuff. Yeah. 
when I play Triple Break can be only one. Uh, I was thinking about playing this trap or Metaverse as a trap card in my side deck. And I have chosen to play back and be only one because I think it's the best card. You, if you don't know what your opponent is doing, for example, if you win with the ice run, you let your opponent go first. He can he can let you let choose that you will start the next game. And then is metaverse not such an optimal choice? Or in case he will start, and there can be only one is a card you can do in both ways, like if you play against Orcus, they end on Galatea and uh, Bardish, so Warrior and Machine type, and their only top deck could be, uh, I think, Candina or Danger to get into another monster to go into Phoenix or something like that. And uh, respectively also getting Zalamite back because everything is Cybers, so I've chosen to play back and be only one. Uh, then I played Triple Lens here for Thunder Ring and Orchest and uh, Dual Super Poly. Nice card. Enables a lot of damage. Uh, dumps the spell. It's crazy. And one Super Poly target my side deck. It's a Parapent Huxley against Palum. Or in case uh, uh, against Orchest because sometimes they go for instant fusion to summon Binder. So you can also just. Summon this card and fusion with Galatea and win their way. To my extra deck, I played Triple Shirugu, Triple Hayate, one Kagari, one Kaina, nothing to say, super basic. And then I played one Hita, Phoenix, one Ningirzu, one Triple Burst, one Bomber Dragon. Uh, funny ways, I didn't use these two this tournament, but I still like them, so I think I will still play them. Because I don't think there's any other card which could be better than these two. <coughs> and last but not least, two additional Super Poly targets for Solomon Great and for August. Yep. That's it. Um, I lost in top 32 in the mirror match. Happens. I had a great weekend overall. Like I went undefeated in Swiss rounds, which is a nice result. Uh, the most important point is that I got uh, over 50 points for the world qualification leaderboards. So I secured my top eight for the playoffs. That's nice. And yeah, that's it for the deck profile. Last but not least, shoutouts to Ovayo, Ultimate Guard, uh, all my friends, uh, Stefan, Moni and Joshua for traveling with me to Paris and enjoy the weekend together. Mm. To my girlfriend, uh, to Zanen because he really wanted to be shoutouted in the deck profile. Hi Zanen. Um, to Georgios and to my team respectively. That's it. Bye bye.